Hey, YouTubers. It's your boy, Double Nation. This is back in the basic journal of the deuces. I'm a new text, baby. Battle of Douglas back. You know what it is. The only place, 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 only Man, I really want to talk about this whole slavery thing, man. But the, even though it's going to be Black History Month, I'm going to call it modern day slavery, even though it's going to be Black History Month a couple months. Yo, Dr. Paul Walken, I understand what you're saying, man, but understand what I'm saying. We're the only group always talk about, well, we need to learn about our history. I get what you're saying. We do need to know where we come from. But here, here's one problem, uh, Dr. Phil Watkins. We're being lied to, and we're not the only one. You got whites being lied to, Asians, and everybody else, but everybody's afraid to say this because they afraid something's going to happen to them. I done harm. I ain't afraid of anything because you can't keep people blind eye in the dark for so long but sooner or later they got to see the bright bright eyes of everything because they got to see what's been right in front of them all this time i'm sorry the whole slavery thing did you know the term slavery has come from slob people the original slaves before anybody else how many of my folks actually know this they don't know this because how do they know i bet you they don't know this when you say slavery and slobbery, it's, it do sound the same meaning. But Europeans going to deny this and say it wasn't. Come on, it was. Because we've been, we've been taught this lie for many years. And I'm 28 right now. I should have learned this when I was 16 and 14 at the time. I never understand it. Because every history month, black history, but what, 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 mean, what it means to be a black person. That every black has got to be pitch black and jet black, because that's what these so-called black supremacists believe when they say dark, dark matters. See, they sound like them same white supremacists when they believe everything is always everything is always price is right. Everything has always got to be right. We white. They, they they believe the same thing, but they full of shit too. Because you can't tell me slavery is just plain wrong. It's wrong for anybody who go through this stuff every day. I want to be free. And I'll die for my freedom. I will kill for my freedom. I will live for freedom. Everybody else can do it, but for some reason, we don't want to do it. We're cowards. That's how we are. We are like that. We're begging these people to love us. I'm sorry. It ain't going to happen. You would think that kumbaya, where we live, but tell me this. If people love us very much, then why they take everything in our culture, everything we do? Even Europeans been known for doing this, and they've been culture vultures. Only thing we took from them is the sports, uh, uh, sports activity Th that been created by Europeans. They look at that that that, that whites ain't getting their credit. I give them credit already, but when we gonna get our credit? Never, because it, everything's gonna be created by Europeans somewhere. You don't believe me? Even the stop light been created by a black person. The light bulb, the, the, the goddamn typewriter, even the iron clothes, that comes from a, a black woman. Clothes hanger, that comes from a black woman. Dishwasher. All this shit that you thinking about. Not a lot, but a couple of things that you would think blacks never create something, but they do. Even the pencil sharpener. The, sh the, 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 the machine. We ain't going to never get no damn credit. They're going to say, because sooner or later, it, it's going to be a European stamp somewhere. But they're not original for some of the things they made. only thing they original they, they made was that TV, that radio, the flag, even the damn planes, and all this other stuff. It's come from European. Mountain climbing, skydiving. I could go on. Even technology. Even, even, I got to give it to, even science is created by Europeans. Even the politicians created by them. We know that. 
But when are we going to get our credit? All you got to do is go to their country that everything has been black, black, is black and part of their country is the black plague, dark ages, black death. If you don't believe me, when are they going to get our credit? Never. It ain't going to happen. I don't get I don't get to this point if Europeans like me or not. Because they've been conditioned all their life thinking that I'm superior. I'm better than you. See that, that that tell me right there. But guess what? My folks do the same thing. We think we're better than somebody. But, but tell me, we always say claim that black is the most dominant. How come we don't own anything? How come we don't own nothing? I'm still waiting for that answer, and we can't sit there and blame Europeans for this. Because we gotta blame Europeans. We need to look at ourselves and say, what what the hell we went wrong? What have we done? They even claim we our ancestors slaved them. So what does that tell you? I don't want to live no damn slaver. I'm sorry. The real slave is the slaver of the mind. But how many people actually talk about, look, I understand, Dr. Bill Walker's where you come from. I get what you're saying. But at the same time, brother, you and I both know schools only teach you what to think, but they ain't going to teach you how to think. See, that's the, what the school system ain't going to never tell you. They ain't going to teach you how the world, how to how really live and survive in the real world. They will never tell you that because everybody knows exactly why you think they got three class system, the poor system, the, the, the rich system and the middle class system. They try to push the middle class out and try to keep the two class system between the rich and the poor. You got to choose different sides you go. And how many people that know Democrats and Republicans was to come from Greeks and Romans? A lot of people don't know that. That's the original Crips and Bloods right there. So, so, so what? So, what does that tell you? I, I, I don't know what that is. And they come from the descendants from Esau to Jacob. It's in the Bible, from the Dem Democratic and Republican, or I say, uh, Dem Dem Democrat and Republicans. I could, I could go on. I could go on on this. And liberals, they propose to leave a justice system for all, but they will leave a justice system for everyone. And they control the voting polls, who can select it in an office, who can select it out of office. And and these are the kind of people of uh, uh, conservative, who you conservative to. The capitalism, uh, 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 communism, communism, who you communist to the whole time people, the whole time to yourself. And, and capitalism is capitalized. Everything is capitalized. Who can people could afford things, who the people they couldn't afford things. I mean, this this stuff plays all over again. So, Dr. Wyman, I get what you're saying right there, man, that I understand why Steve Harvey said that. I feel the same way sometimes. Because how many times we keep knowing about we, we are slaves? That's all they think of blacks. They are a damn slave. They don't think about nothing else. If we can't play no damn football or be it a rapper or be it a, a, be it a, a actor, but they don't see us as doctors, lawyers, and even judges. They don't see that. At least I respect people like uh, W. Lee Du Bois, even though I don't agree with everything he said, but I agree with it. At least I respect uh, Frank, uh, 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 Fred, Fred uh, Douglas. At least I respect Booker T. Watch. I knew who all these people are. And Helmut Tubman, Rosa Parks, I respect all these people. Oprah, all of them, even I don't agree everything they do. But don't tell me. They don't respect the United States of President. They, do you think whites give a damn about Obama? No. They'd rather see this country fall than let us see a brother succeed. They don't, they don't care. They look at him. He's a uh, because they've been conditioned what Hitler programmed them and think that in their mind. But you guess what? We do the same thing. We do the same thing. Everybody got to take responsibility for what happened to slavery. Every race of group slave, everybody is not just cool. Us, everybody. Everybody live a benefit off of us. Man, we live benefit for everyone else. They want to see us dead, man. Do you understand this? It, it, but sometimes we want to see ourselves as dead because we get to a point we don't know who the people we believe. We don't know. We confuse. We don't know what is black and what's not. You got everybody else confused about their race and their identity. That explains why some people are racist. I'm not because there's no reason to hate another group. I hate some people that have their actions. 
and not just hold, not 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 go by what the words, what they say, what they're gonna do, what they ain't gonna do. There's no reason to hate anybody because you don't want somebody to discriminate you. So why you discriminate anyone else? Forget color. It's about people, man. But yet we are here. You know, th th this is why. I get so frustrated, but at the same time, it's sad at the same time. Because we've been conditioned all our lives thinking that everybody owes something. We owe to ourselves, man. I don't care if somebody don't like me or not. But sooner or later, they're going to respect me. Sooner or later, some, sooner or later, I have to respect them. You know, I mean, I'm, I'm sick of it. This, this whole thing about slavery, it gets on my damn nerves when I think about it. Look, I respect Black History Month. But I respect any history in my period. You even hear white people say, what about white history? They already have white history. Look at all the accomplishments when they establish a country. White people have been seen as damn gods, especially every goddamn movie you see. But what do they, what do they portray blacks? Uh, damn, uh, uh, damn uh, dime baggers and, 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 and free, free extra loadment, loadment of uh, uh, extra getting free loaded stuff. They see blacks as just just runaway, just vicious and violently savage. That's all they look at blacks. But we're more to these things. Some of us are doctors, rappers, actors. I can go on. Some of us are football players, baseball players, and all that. Even we got the beautiful, gorgeous women. But yet our women been programmed and think that we're the fucking enemy. They, they, they actually think like that. They think in, in their mind. But guess what? That's on us, brothers, because we can't get mad. They, they deserve to be happy any man they get. That's on us. And yet just as much as on them. But, but at the same time, we, just like we deserve being happy too, sisters, because we got to respect other people. We, we don't respect other races. So what, what does that tell you? I get what you're saying, Doctor Phil Watkins. I, 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 you know, I like your videos, brother. But I understand what Steve Harvey's saying because I don't give a care about slavery either. I get tired of looking at these damn slave movies. Why we just can't show more than that? I know Jews get tired of seeing the Holocaust, and they want you to show more of the Jews than, than thinking about being in the Holocaust. They more they they just people, just like we're people. Why is our people? Everybody's a people. Everybody's is every every person. Every people is a human being. But the funny thing is, they don't treat people as human beings. They don't even look at themselves as human beings. They don't respect human life. They they don't even care. Why you think people commit crimes and doing the things they do? They don't respect nobody. I feel sorry for Mr. Bombay because I'm gonna tell you something. I would I would say you know what you can have that White House because if that's the case, these people gonna continue to complain. They gonna continue. You can't please everybody, cause I, cause if that were me, I had to worry about my family and my kids. It, it, you know, cause I gotta look out for my own self. Ain't nobody gonna look out for me. It, it, it just, it just sad. That tell me right there, we're not moved as a folks. And I don't blame wife for anything. I don't give a damn wife did this or that. Cause my, I got to a point. I gotta worry about me and everybody else. Got to do the same. And we got to come together as one as the whole time race because this whole slavery thing it gets on my damn nerve and this damn slavery shit all it is a color system you know based on you the treat us society everybody fall into that but yet everybody buying into the stuff what they've been taught what they've been fed all their lives and they're gonna start to believe it so I, i'm the same way sometimes i don't give a damn about slavery either who wants to be slaves who who gonna tell somebody when to eat when to sleep, when to piss, when to shit, when to go to bathroom, when not to go to bathroom. Who the people you talk to, who the people you not should have talked to, who the people you should uh, be a citizen, what not be a citizen. A real slave is a slaver of the person yourself to be that damn mind of the mind that you've been you've been progetized and progetized with yourself with. That's why a lot of people, most people are stupid because they, they they don't they don't realize you can't believe anything what people tell you. You have to believe what your heart tells you. I can't tell you anything. You have to find out for yourself. People don't give a damn about that. They don't. They, they, they don't give a damn. They don't care, and you can tell they don't. I get tired of people always tell you about that damn slavery. They will never tell you where the true slavery really came from. It all come from that damn slob of, of people. Come from part of Europeans. They can look at this shit 
and it explains why blacks or African or African Americans, whatever you want to call it, all African American basically were conquer Americans. That's why we called ourselves. It comes from the Roman general, African Ganon. They can look this stuff up. For all you Africans out there, you African Americans. But I don't know, do black Americans know that? Because black Americans get hate because they don't know their history. That's the one thing they're targeted at. They don't talk about anything else. Only target white Americans because they racist because they was original of white slavery. Let's be honest about that. Before they, we were slaves. Or, or not, we're the damn slave boat. Where are the slaves that, 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 that say that we were coming from over here? Where are our reparation? We ain't going to never get one. Everybody get their little old way back. But where we going to get? Never because we don't know how to act. That's the first thing they focus on. I, I'm just saying, I know my history. I love my people. I love people. I love my folks even more because I understand what they have to deal with. But damn, I, I, shit, I've been making videos for years. Ain't no damn, ain't nobody hold me back. You hold yourself back. Fuck this damn slavery shit. I'm getting tired of people always tell you, well, and then people want to boycott Steve. Okay, if you're going to boycott Steve Harvey, then you need to boycott Nike. You need to boycott uh, all these damn corporate companies don't give a damn about our folk. Don't even care about us. Well, we care about these other companies. Boycott these kind of damn people. If they can invest your goddamn dollar and know your damn history. Now, I don't even like Steve Harvey in person, but I understand why he said that. Because let's be honest, as, as these, uh, these, 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 these organized groups, they need to start telling the truth. And Europeans too, and everybody else, because somebody is lying about this kind of story, because we heard it too many damn times. And they didn't read the damn Bible, and it actually is an original copy from Bibles that really said from the gods, because Bible been copied so many times, but actually copyright, but it, but it is not the re, it's not actual of the original words, original says from original gods, or one God, whatever you want to call it. Because all, all 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 religion is is manufacturing to break everybody in group and broken by race. That's all it is. And, and starting on this damn solution, that's all it is. I get tired of people telling you that you gonna offend the man. Somebody who cares about? It? We don't even get no damn justice. Better yet, we don't support justice. They want us dead, man. Because you know, all you gotta do is listen to what these people are saying. And why I want to be a friends with a group of people, especially the damn Klansmen, for some of the stuff they did, they got to hold accountable just as much as everyone else. Same thing, the, the, the Black Panther, they don't give a damn about the black community. None of these people, they don't even give a damn about other communities. Not the Democrats, not even Republicans. Who cares? You got Obama don't even want to speak about the black issues. This, they, they look at Obama, they say he might look like a black man, but he don't think like a black man. In other words, he didn't go through the experience like everyone else does. So what does that tell you? You don't fool most black people, because they most majority of blacks, because because most majority of blacks know what it is. They're just scared to talk about it. Quite a few know what's up. They know what it is. We know who we up against. Do you think they the whites and everybody else are scared? We're scared too, just as much as everyone else here. We have to look at ourselves, show this every goddamn day. We watch the news. We hear what people say. So, Dr. Phil Walker, think, think about what I said, because would you want to be a slave, or do you want to be a free person? That's like, I'm, I'm going to give you this before I go. Would you be a slave master, or you want to be are free from slavery. Would you be killed the master or to be not to be a slave anymore? Or you want to save for a, a master for order to be a slave? That's something you gotta think about right there because I'm gonna tell you, I know what you're saying, but we're the only group. Everybody else fighting back, but we ain't gonna fight back slave for freedom. We don't wanna do that. Oh hell no. We're not gonna do it. Are oh, we gonna expect to put up and shut up? That's why we're getting our ass kicked every goddamn fucking time. And we w wonder why we're getting fucked with. And we need to do something about our own. Because I'm going to tell you something else. They out here, they don't fuck with any other people. Because if they did, they'd be out there running. The same thing, these are so-called racists. Uh, I, I, I can't fend a racist. Anybody. Do you think a whites and Jews and everybody else going to fend a racist? Hell no. They wouldn't fend no black person a racist. I wouldn't either. 
or white or anyone else. You don't treat people like that. If you don't want somebody to do that stuff to you, you wouldn't like it. Calling names and you don't even know what these racial slurs, where they come from. But I'm going to tell you like this, man. If, if, if we don't get a hold of any kind of people that get and snap in this situation we're putting ourselves in, we're going to put ourselves out. So, Dr. Phil Walker, I understand, but think about what Steve, what he's saying. How would you feel that you they prefer you as slave? You'd rather be a free man and die as a man of men to freedom. Because that's what America is all about. But instead, nobody wants to do that. We're afraid of living and dying. Guess what? People die every day, okay? You watch the news, people died of heart attack, people died of getting shot, people died of, 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 of uh, chronic, people died of any de natural cause of death, people died of something. You got to live it and keep fighting, keep on living every day. So if you want to live, you're going to keep fighting for living. If you don't, you're going to stop fighting to live, you're going to live yourself and remain to be a coward. And that's all it is. And nothing else to place more. And, 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 help, and help a God for rest for the rest of us, for all of us, in all eternity, eternity of life. So I like the video, God bless, but at the same time, man, we need to get out of this situation because right now it's not doing us any favors because this is really our land. But at the same time, we've been exiled ourselves to this land. Everybody know who we are, but we don't know who he is. But I think it's about time we need to know who we is because everybody else know who we are, but, we, but when we going to know who we is? Nothing else say anything I can say anymore. I'm done. All right, all right. It's your boy Domination. This is back in the basement. You're gonna do this. I do takes, baby. Until next time. All right, all right. Peace, and I'm out.